Alright guys, do, 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 do. King Galliman to the rescue. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to, well, a trick to help you with your conversions in math that my math teacher taught my class. So I figured I'd show it to you guys. So first, there's like a little story behind it too and this is how it goes. Okay. So there once was a king which you're going to make a giant G. And, you know what, why not put a little crown? And with this king, he had... He had four queens. He's been divorced and remarried four times. And each... And him and the queen each had a prince and a princess. So you put two peas in each queen. Each prince and princess had um, a crown, had two crowns. One crown was for, like, everyday, everyday things, like, you know, driving your car. Maybe your car's name is Veronica. Whatever. <laughs> um, and what is for those amazing balls? And so yeah, so there's two crowns in each for each prince and princess. Make two little C's in each P. Okay. So now that you know the story, you'll find the you'll find the conversions behind it. So the G stands for gallon. Each queen or Q stands for a queen. Uh, sorry, not a queen, a court. And there's four courts in a gallon. There's two pints in each court. And in one pint, there's two cups. So there's eight pints in a gallon, sixteen cups in a gallon, and you could just, eat, like, you can find out pretty much anything you need by using this, because it's all right here in a picture with a story that helps you remember it. Um, so yeah, this is it. King Gallon Man to the rescue helps you ace your math conversions test. Peace out, suckers.